I like I, I ain't gonna never walk away from social media because like my my real life private like what I put post is only because I, I I want you to see it. Yeah, but people just be watching clips. They got three second attention span. Three seconds. Like if it, like it's so hard to get somebody to watch a uh, five minutes of your video. It's your boy Zay with OPL, the hottest media platform for young creators and entrepreneurs. And you know who I'm with again, man. What's up, guys? It's your boy Zion tapping in yet again. Official site fashion, young creators and entrepreneurs. And we bring to you another dope young creative entrepreneur. We got somebody from Memphis in the house today. Yeah. Back to back. Yeah, so, man, resigning from resigning in South Carolina, man. We got also oh elevated, bro. How you doing? For sure. I'm How you good. doing? I'm good. I'm great. Most definitely, man. Also, man, internet sensation, man. Social media influencer. Man, you just—we interviewed you before, man. I really, I really yeah. like your story, bro. You yeah, you need. You gave a real perspective. Like you, you, you was really breaking it down from how these cats need to be choosing, like the street path, because that shit only leads you a certain hey, way, and they didn't see what's happening. Everybody getting killed. Yeah. yeah, this really the perfect time to have you back perfect. on. So perfect <laughs> time. Yeah, perfect time, bro. Hey, bro, you can lean in or lean the mic in just a little bit closer mm. to you. You gonna lean back? Yeah. But let's let's dive in on that, bro. Why you think young people ain't comfortable being themselves? Why you think they gotta feel like they gotta portray an image? Uh, cause everything around everybody, like say say like the rappers. Everybody rapping about really street shit. Everybody ain't really rapping about yeah. the real what's real. Like these folks ain't doing that no more. Right. Sure. Like then everybody dying. It's just crazy. I don't. I don't know. Like don't nobody want to be themselves because of social media. If social media went around or phones and cameras went around, everybody be themselves. Man, do you think takeoff was at the wrong place at like the wrong time? Yeah, I feel. Like, I feel like in that situation because I watched the video. So because when they he was were, just chilling. They were chilling. Yeah. And, yeah. and and Quavo he walked off when he mm -hmm. walked off. Mm -hmm. Then they started shooting. So yeah. it was just like it was just a bad situation. I don't I don't know what happened after that, but I just know it's a lot of shooting happening. And he died. It's crazy. Yeah, it is. That's why. That's why. Like I ain't I ain't really feeling the the popularity of this. Like I don't want to be famous. I just I I be known or whatever, but I ain't trying to be famous. Like famous, you can't do nothing no more. Yeah, right, like you can't be yourself. Like you can't. Gucci man ain't went to the ain't went to a Walmart in years. Like this nigga never went to a Walmart. Like, yeah, come on, bro. Like I want to be able to go to the Walmart, be by myself, do what I want to do. I ain't trying to move around with like six, seven security guards. And I ain't yeah. got time for that. I want to be me. So, yeah, for I'm, sure. Because Shaq I said he like he's not a celebrity like no more. He's an influencer. Yeah, you feel me. Mm -hmm. so, so like, let, let me ask you this also. So. Do you ever see yourself getting to a point as like someone right now you building you building up your your campaign your brand? Do you ever see yourself getting to a point where you see yourself walking away away from social media, or you see it being something uh, you always do? Like nah, I, I like I, I ain't gonna never walk away from social media because like my my real life private like what I put post is only because I I want you to see it type shit. Yeah, yeah. Y'all ain't gonna see like what I do in real life or what what my problems is going in real life, but y'all gonna see like the entertaining and the the way I. I Market myself, y'all gonna see that part, but y'all ain't gonna see like really what's going on. Yeah, yeah, you feel like people struggle with like finding a line between personal and real life. Yes, so, like why you think people feel like they gotta show it all? Cause it's just like like they just want to pop it. Like once you ain't got it, like if you ain't got something for so long and then you get it, you are gonna pop it. Mm -hmm. So right. when you pop it, then you drawing attention to yourself, and then search stuff happen, and then that ain't gotta happen because you popping it. So. Exactly. So, man, let's talk about the post, man. You just made like earlier, man. You said, "I only got one plan. I'm gonna be a YouTuber slash content creator, man." So, like, it's money in the content making, man. You just told us like Instagram mm -hmm. is paying more than TikTok. Right. Like, let's just talk about why are you sticking with Plan A and it's only Plan A with that shit. Cause if you got a Plan B, like you gonna, oh, I got something to fall back on. Me, I'm straight Plan A. I ain't got no Plan B. I ain't got nothing else I want to do, can do. Like, I ain't got nothing else on my mind, like, that's like, okay, I'm going to do this if this don't work. This got to work. Like, it's like, this got to work. This got to, like. Yeah. And how it's going, it's working. So, and I'm just trying, like, me, I ain't got no plan. Like, it don't be planned out or it don't be nothing like script. Like, I'm straight, like, okay, this happened. Whatever happens, happens. Like, I'm going to take my L and I'm going to take my W's. Like, because you're going to take your L's. You might have a thousand L videos and one W video. Mm -hmm. You done work and yeah, the W video it's gonna be the one you, you on. You like this shit ain't gonna be nothing. They're gonna be the one that hit. Hell the one yeah. you work the hardest on gonna be the one that flop. So it's like I got one plan and I'm sticking to it. Like this is my plan. I'm gonna be a YouTuber influencer. I ain't got nothing else nothing else going to me. Like nothing else matter. Yeah. Most definitely Like a going viral Is like so controversy Right like you just said Like you know If you post a trucking video Man you gonna get like Attention Neat just told us Like set sale You see what I'm yeah, saying exactly. Why not have like An OnlyFans person Like be on your podcast Like like you know But that's kind of risky though So where's like Your direction going now Since that 
it's not you know like kind of risky. Like like I right, so if you do say you do want to go that route, you can go that route. It's ways to get around it. Right. But it's like it take too much energy. Like because you probably have to blur out this, blur out that, and it's gonna take the fun from the video, and it's gonna yeah. take the fun from you just being what you do. Like it's gonna exactly. be like somebody controlling you, and like in this business, like I control everything I put out. Mm. Like so if I if I'm putting out that video, I know for a fact I'm not gonna get paid for it. Right. That's that. It's cool. But if I'm not like it's like it's a situation like I want to get paid, so I ain't gonna put out that type of video. So yeah. I'm controlling my market. So if mm-hmm. I want to market them videos, I gotta know what come with that. So like if you want to OnlyFans, say say you y'all do want to bring OnlyFans member up to y'all podcast, it's gonna sell. But like, do y'all want to really sell it just for OnlyFans? Like it's gonna get numbers, but right. do you want to go that route? Cause like now you are gonna have to keep doing OnlyFans members and yeah. like keep trying to like bring sexes. To your platform, right? When you can just grind it out, be yourself, like do what y'all doing, and bring whatever y'all want to bring. And once y'all get up higher enough, y'all ain't gonna be like, "Oh, only fans member made me." Type shit. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna be like, "I grinded from the bottom and I made this myself. I ain't need no sixes or no this." That's why I took away my twerk videos. Like I didn't need twerk videos. I can go viral for a different reason. I can go viral for being a comedian. I can go viral for having a car. I can go viral for doing all type of different stuff. Yeah. So it's like that's why I don't collab for real. Like. I don't collab with different people because it's like if you got more followers than me or you got more than me, I don't want to collab with you right now. Yeah. Because I'm not helping you. Me, I'm not benefiting you, and you're not you benefiting me more than I'm benefiting you. We gotta be equal. Right. So if we equal, then I hop on your stuff so we can run it up together. I don't want, want it to be like, oh, you made me or this person made you. If I wouldn't never hopped on your YouTube, you wouldn't have got this many views. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so like y'all was talking about like the sex sales and you gotta like kind of tiptoe around it. So, like, do you think uh, people have the mentality of they think social... Like, if you're trying to be a social media person, mm-hmm. do you think people have the mentality of the social media got to be the only way I make money? Because, like, say you do want to talk about sex. You can have a Patreon or some other mm-hmm. shit outside of the, of the typical social medias where you post mm-hmm. that type of content. Or just a mindset of knowing you can make money just by using your influence, not necessarily getting paid from views mm-hmm. or streams. Like, me, how I go about it, like, st- right now, I ain't really worried about the money. Yeah. That's why you got to have, like, say say you got your dream. Like, I got my dream, but I got a job. People don't even know I got a job. I got mm. a job. Oh, I've been working. I got like, yeah, I got a so. job. I go to work. It's just, like, I build my work schedule around my YouTube schedule. Yeah. yeah. So, like, if I know my, I got to do this, I ain't finna get no job. I work 12 hours because I know I ain't going to be able to do YouTube. So, yeah. I, I go get a job where I can work 4 to 10 and be off at nighttime, do videos or Monday through Friday, something like that, like. You got to have a job. It ain't no, yeah. oh, I'm going to just make YouTube and Instagram money. They paying. Don't get me wrong. They paying. But, but you like got that. that money. That money is like, it ain't paying good enough for you to just say, I don't want no job. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's none of that. Like, you don't be real. Like, be real with yourself. Like, you know, oh, okay, I'm making it. But if I if I do this and I fall off, I ain't going to have it this month. Like, yeah. oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah. Because bills going to keep on coming. Yeah, bills going to keep coming. And being homeless and trying to do YouTube ain't it. Yeah, yeah. it ain't it. Mm-mm. Yeah, bro. I feel like a lot of people, especially during the pandemic, a lot of people was like, we ain't trying to work no job. It made, it made it seem like a job was more frowned upon. Everybody trying to be entrepreneurs all of a sudden. Yeah, everybody. But you, yeah. That's how, that's why you got to realize you got to work. You got to work and work and work. Like me, I feel like I ain't working hard enough because mm. I can be dropping content every day, like dropping content, shooting videos. But it's just like, I be working. You will be like, oh, I'm tired, so I ain't gonna do nothing today. I'm gonna just yeah. wait. You, you gonna keep life? doing? It. Yeah, you got yeah. a real life, but you gotta you gotta know what you grinding for. Like me, I had to realize in my mind, like, okay, I ain't working hard enough. I gotta get it. Like, if I wanna be, I wanna do this. I wanna do this. So if I gotta go to work and go shoot a video right after I get out of work, I gotta do that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, bro. Because I noticed, like, when I told you, like, everybody wanna be an entrepreneur, but honestly, like, truth be told, everybody just want freedom. Yeah. But you can have freedom with a nine to five. Facts. But we be down playing people that work nine to fives, but bro, they may be the most freest human being ever. But the CEO usually be stressed because they gotta feed who's ever at the round table with them. Facts. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's like it's like I say I I went to college, right? Right. Yeah. Boom. My friend, my friend, he he stayed at home and stayed with his mom for like five years. Mm. You feel me? He got the ups, cause he worked his nine to five for five years. He 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 up like five hundred thousand on me. Yeah. I'm in debt like twenty thousand. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. So he up on me. That nine to five helped him. Yeah. But my route, I gotta work a little bit harder, cause I gotta catch up to. Like I ain't gotta catch up to him, but like in the real life, 
Outside you gotta, of this college, you got to catch up yeah, to you, people that been working nine to five. So you can't look down upon somebody working a nine to five. They got more freedom to you. Like you didn't went to school, you in debt, you didn't did this, you didn't did that. They taking trips to Miami, they going to Vegas, they they doing all type of stuff. Yeah, and you yeah. in college, debt, hungry, all type of stuff. So it's like nine to five is really what is it? Yeah, like you get you a job and then. Use that job to pay for your dream. Don't just, you feel me, just try yeah. to do extra. Like, that shit really the formula, bro. Like, you got to invest in yourself. But we was talking about, like, trying to go viral previously. So, like, what do you think make a viral video? Like, what's the components of a viral video? You never know. That's that's the, that's the fun of it. You never know what's going to go viral. Mm. Like, because every, like, yo, yo, best video, you think, oh, I'm going viral. Not gonna do nothing. The worst video, you yeah. be like, oh, this suck, man. I'm finna put it out anyway. But that's what happened to me. That's, that's why you never know. Up. Like, you'll be like, this might go viral, this might go viral. No, it ain't gonna go viral. Just just drop. Just keep dropping. The videos, you be like, one of you, you gonna get tired of just dropping videos that's flopping. The one yeah. time you just be like, okay, uh, fuck it. Drop that video, that's not gonna go viral. But it's, people be like, you only need one viral video. And you Hell good. No. Bro, you need more than that, bro. Yeah, and you need several viral videos. You yeah. know how many viral videos I got? I got like 2.7 million impressions on, on YouTube and only 4,000 subscribers. That, you need more than a few viral videos, Shit. like yeah. a bunch of them. Do you think people really get how hard it is to really like blow yourself up? They don't. In terms of like the amount of work you got to put in and the amount of exposure you really need to reach the heights that... You need to, to fully live off your uh, your influence. Like, especially if you don't know nobody. Like, if you don't know nobody and you just coming from scratch, like, it, it take a lot. Because you got to work your 9 to 5, and YouTube got to be 24 hours. Yeah. Like, you got to be at work writing down YouTube or so what, <laughs> you're selling your product. You got to be creating stuff. Like, yeah. why you at work in working at the same time? So, it's like, you really got to work for this. Like, work. I'm talking about work, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, It's no easy way to be an entrepreneur. It's not no supposed either. to be easy. It's not, bro. If you get it easy, it's going to be easy to lose it because you ain't going to care for it too much. Like, if you worked hard for it, when you get it, you're going to, oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm yeah, staying. you cherish it. And you yeah. know what it takes to keep it and build that shit up hey. and make it last. But then the next thing I want to ask you about, also some shit I seen you posting about, and we asked our last guest, which was a female, you feel like it's hard to date as someone trying to pursue their dreams? Talk your shit. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because I, so, say, say, I'm going to put it like this. Say you got a girl you talk to, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A girl, a girl not gonna want to go to McDonald's, not gonna want to go to Wendy's, not gonna want to like stay down like for no 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 weak stuff like. So you gonna have to do this for her, do that for her. But at the same time, you you putting all your money into your dream. So if you putting all your money into your dream, and you you putting like ninety percent into your dream and ten percent into you, like you ain't got enough percentage to put in her for real. So it's like yeah. like I had I had this I had this. All right, so I had a girl I was talking to okay. for a minute, like a minute. Then nobody know. Like I keep my shit extra private, but I'm gonna talk about this. I keep right. my extra private. Yeah. This is exclusive. This is right. exclusive yeah. just for y'all. So, yeah. Just for y'all. So look, I had a girl I talked to. Right, boom, yeah. I talked to her like in love. Like we was in love, woo woo. But it was like me being an entrepreneur and what I was doing. Like I was doing. That's when the time I was going crazy. I'm talking about party twerk vlog. video, yeah. Yeah. party vlogs. I'm in Miami just showing out. Knowing I got old girl in the career, like, you feel me? If I ain't, if it was the other way around, I would have been yeah, mad too, you feel? Yeah. So it's like, I, I was going crazy, but like, that's the content they wanted to see. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a quote I always say, like, I never sell yourself on YouTube or social media. Never sell yourself. Because like, it's certain stuff I knew. I'm like, no, nah, I don't need to do this. But I know this is going to bring the views in. So I was doing it. So it's like, then when I get back, it's just like, you doing all this. And I ain't doing that. Like, she was loyal. I, I still yeah. mess with her to this day. Like, we cool. Like, we don't talk as much, but we cool. So it's like, dang, I, I messed that up. I blew it. You feel me? But just to chime in on that, bro, like, your dreams may uh, require you to work with different genders. Yeah. So with that being said, like, women are very emotional, like, investors. Like, me and Z, we consider ourselves journalists. We may have to public interview a woman, a bad bitch. Yeah. But you got to be secure enough to say or say to that person, like, hey, look, I, man, like, I'm just doing this for the business. I'm just mm -hmm. doing this for the dream because this is what people want to see. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's like really, you know, like, you can't really 
change a woman or change your partner, bro, they got to want to change themselves too, though. Mm-hmm. And it's like to the point where, like, just like you said, like, I'm putting all my money into her, but I got to put my money into my dream. Mm-hmm. And I feel like a lot of women, they like, they don't want to be in a process because the process look ugly. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I told Z, bro, my next woman, bro, she can't just be pretty. She got to be comfort in like herself that, man, she not scared to get ugly, bro. Because a lot of women just want to be pretty with money. But is you really secure enough to say, 